Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on the MSR series of Miniature High Precision Positioners. Do you have positioning applications in either semiconductor metrology, electronics manufacturing, or in life science applications like microscopy or digital pathology? If so, then you're probably looking for motion components that fit into a small form factor, deliver a high dynamic response, allow for high resolution, which give your process high consistency, and components that can help you deliver your instrument at lightning speed. Would you also like robust motion, which can be used 24-7 in a modular platform that can be adopted to XYZ systems? How about performance that can be selected to meet your needs? a dependable motion supplier with best-in-class lead times. If so, then allow me to introduce you to the MSR series, a miniature square rail guided series of linear positioners. The MSR series fits one of two form factors, the MSR 80 and the MSR 100. 80 and 100 referring to the positioner's metric width. These stages are driven with one of two linear motor technologies, either an iron core motor for superior thrust density in miniaturized packaging, or an ironless linear motor aligned for extremely smooth linear motion. Each of these stages can be configured with up to six different encoder technologies, dependent upon your application's need. Let's begin with the MSR80. The MSR80 is the next generation miniature solution for applications which might currently use Parker's globally recognized MX-ADL. The MSR80 allows for substantially higher precision performance and fits into a similar volume to what the equivalent stroke MX-ADL would. The MSR80 uses the same iron core linear motor used on the MX-ADL but has been enhanced with the latest of encoder technology. Now, let's examine some of the design features of the MSR80. We begin with two integrated precision square rails, which in addition to providing guidance, give the stage superior straightness, flatness, and stiffness. Coupled to that, a center drive iron core linear motor, which gives the stage exceptional thrust in a condensed package, yielding excellent dynamic response. The MSR80 is outfitted with any one of five different linear encoder options, all of which with integrated limit and home sensing. An optional magnetic counterbalance can be attached to the MSR80 with 25mm stroke as standard for Z-axis applications. The magnetic counterbalance is an ideal option for applications requiring a quick Z-axis response like focusing applications with the advantage of not requiring any additional power or compressed air to achieve this. Lastly, the MSR80 uses the same mounting pattern as the MX80L and has dowel pinning built into its design, which allow the user an easy means of consistently mounting the stage. The MSR80 is available in any one of five discrete stroke lengths of 25, 35, 50, 100, and 150 millimeters. 25 and 35 millimeter strokes are only available with the four pole or CS motor option producing four newtons of continuous thrust or 12 newtons peak. The 50, 100 and 150 millimeter strokes are available with the eight pole linear motor yielding eight newtons of continuous thrust and 24 peak. The MSR80 is capable of repeatabilities down to 0.1 microns of bidirectional repeatability. Again, the MSR80 uses one of two different iron core linear motors, either the CS option or 4-pole motor, or the CD option or 8-pole motor, with thrust versus speed performance as shown above. The MSR80 is available with five different linear encoder options. The first is a new magnetic incremental encoder, which is a very economical feedback option for generic positioning applications. Next is an optical incremental option with three different resolutions of 
one micron, 0.1 micron, or 0.01 micron resolutions. Lastly, the MSR80 also offers a sine cosine encoder output. This can be a very economical high resolution option when paired with a drive that can accept the signal as its resolution can be scaled by the drive's interpolation characteristics. Pictured here is the 25mm stroke MSR80 positioner with integrated magnetic counterbalance. This counterbalance is ideal for Z-axis applications like an autofocus operation. This counterbalance must be sized to the payload that the vertical axis will see. This is an ideal vertical axis solution over typical pneumatic counterbalances as it requires no compressed air or tubing that would go along with it. The MSR80 fits in a similar volume that would have been taken up by the equivalent stroke MX80L. Pictured here is the MSR80 with 25mm stroke fully retracted alongside an MX80L with 25mm stroke fully extended. As you can see, the two take up a very similar amount of machine space. The MSR80 is 80mm wide by 25mm high, the same dimensions as the MX80L. When comparing the length of the MSR to the MX80L, you will see that they are very similar by the stroke length. Now, you might be surprised when you learn of the performance advantages of the MSR's square rail design over that of the cross-roller design of the MX-ADL, as cross-roller bearings have long been touted as having superior performance over recirculating bearings. Square rail production has improved drastically over time, resulting in a highly competitive bearing technology. In addition to being faster to assemble, the square rail eliminates the need to preload the stage, yielding a truer stage with stiffer characteristics. Now, all linear guides are effectively ground in the same precision machining process, leaving the only real difference between bearing elements themselves. Earlier versions of recirculating or square rail technologies did not use optimized bearing pathways, resulting in vibration as each truck translated. Higher quality rails produced today have minimized and almost eliminated this variation. Demand for bearings has also driven improvements in straightness and flatness performance while driving down cost. Again, the major difference in bearing technology as it pertains to the positioner has to do with how the bearing is preloaded. Cross rollers depend on deforming the material of the stage itself. Meanwhile, with square rail bearings, each truck is preloaded, leaving the stage material intact and in a very true state. Next is the MSR100, which uses the ML18 ironless linear motor as its drive. This ironless linear motor allows for high dynamic performance and yields very smooth motion. Like the MSR80, the MSR100 has been designed to also use the latest encoder technology available. Now, let's examine some of the design features of the MSR100. Like the MSR80, the 100 is built atop two integrated precision square rails, which provide the stage its guidance, along with its straightness and flatness, as well as its stiffness. The MSR100 design also uses a center-driven linear motor, but uses an ironless linear motor, which has zero cogging, allowing for very smooth motion and limited velocity ripple. The MSR100 allows for any one of six different linear encoder technologies, and like the MSR80, all have limits and home sensing built into them with the exception of a BIS-C absolute option, which does not have any limits or home signals built into it. The MSR100 has both tapped and through holes built into it, as well as bolt hole patterns to match that of the MSR80 so that the MSR100 can easily be constructed into a multi-axis system with MSR80 axes integrated to it. The MSR100 is available in strokes from 25mm all the way up to 500mm. Displayed here are general performance specifications for 
for strokes from 25 millimeters to 200 millimeters. Note that the continuous and peak thrust vary based upon the motor option selected. The LS option yielding 11 newtons of continuous thrust and a peak of 33 newtons, and the LD option producing 16.7 newtons of continuous thrust and a peak of 50 newtons. And here we have stroke performance for longer strokes of 250 through 500 millimeters. Again, the MSR100 uses Parker's newest ironless linear motor as its drive, the ML18. The ML18 is not as thrust dense as the iron core motor used in the MSR80, but still outputs higher overall thrust relative to it. Pictured here are the thrust speed characteristics for each motor option. Like the MSR80, the MSR100 offers the 1 micron magnetic encoder as an economical encoder option. Optical resolutions of 1, 0.1, and 0.01 micron resolutions, and the sine cosine, and also offers a standard BIS-C absolute option for applications that require constant positional feedback or cannot allow for a homing routine. Now, let's walk through a couple of different scenarios for when one would use one MSR or encoder over another. Let's say, for instance, you're looking for the smallest linear positioner for your application and have relatively basic precision requirements. In this scenario, you'll want to look at the MSR80 for its size with the magnetic encoder option as it's extremely economical. Now, let's say you want a very small positioner with high precision. In this case, you'll want to look again at the MSR80, but in this case, you'll want to specify an optical encoder to meet your precision needs. If you don't want to design yourself into a corner, Parker has designed the MSR with the latest encoder technology available. As such, if you ever find that you want to change your MSR's resolution, and you're using any of the optical encoders, all that is required is that you change out the optical interpolator for the desired resolution. Note that any laser data initially captured will vary. Now, let's say you want to make very precise moves very quickly. You will want to look at either the MSR80 or MSR100 with the sine cosine encoder. Using this option, scale the resolution of your application within the drive, and while not inundating the drive with a high frequency input of the 0.01 micron optical incremental option, allowing for faster overall performance. If you're concerned with producing very smooth motion for an application that requires very tight velocity control for scanning or output on the fly applications, look at the MSR100 with a high resolution the ironless motor used in the MSR100 has no attractive forces between stator and magnet track, yielding extremely smooth motion. The MSR is available in both a standard grade using the economical 1 micron magnetic encoder or precision grade using any of the other encoder options, optical, sine cosine, or bis -C. Precision grade versions of the MSR are tested via Parker's laser interferometer and shipped with full laser test results and linear slope corrected value. All MSR options are both Rojas and CE compliant as standard for any MSR80 or any MSR100. Note that there are a variety of complementary drive options available through Parker based upon your application need as well. The MSR can easily be adapted to fit any number of multi-axis systems. For instance, the MSR80 can easily be configured into XY systems without the use of transition plates. Note that it uses the exact same bolt pattern as the MX80L, making it a bolt-in replacement for most applications. The MSR100 can also be adapted into multi-axis systems, again, without the need for transition plates either a standard XY orientation or by mounting each carriage to carriage, eliminating the amount of cable management required. As you might expect, the MSR80 can also be mounted directly onto the MSR100. 
Note that the standard Z bracket can be ordered from the catalog for vertical mounting of the MSRE. This concludes this video presentation. Please direct any questions or inquiries to the email address or phone number listed above. For more information on the MSR series or any other products offered by Parker, visit us at parkermotion.com.